Howdy folks, this is Checkers, and this of course is Fallout 76, and we are here today to talk about how to get this power armor, the excavator power armor in Fallout 76, and with it you will also get the plans to build your own power armor crafting station to modify and repair and build your own power armor. Now, to do this is not as simple as completing a quest and getting an item. You will need to actually build the power armor, so you may want to gather the resources before you start. You will need to be at least level 25 to wear the lowest variant of armor. You will also need a power armor chassis and at least one fusion core. Now you may find these on site, but if someone's been there recently, you may not. These power armor constructions are going to be very resource heavy. To build the lowest variant, level 25, you will need 36 black titanium, 30 gears, 12 glass, 6 nuclear material, 36 oil, 26 rubber, 60 screws, 60 springs, and 102 steel. For the level 35 variant, the cost goes up to 42 black titanium, 36 gears, 14 glass, 7 nuclear material, 44 oil, 30 rubber, 72 screws, 80 springs, and 120 steel. And we can assume that the variants go up by tens from there, so at level 45 the cost would be probably even greater. And on top of all of this, if you want to build your own power armor crafting station, you will need another 12 aluminum, 3 circuits, 6 fiberglass, 6 gears, 4 oil, 4 plastic, and 4 screws. So, where do we go from here? Well, if we open our map and go to Vault 76, so we have a common reference point, now drag your map to the south. Past this dark colored area, you will see three towers that are kind of red and pink. Just south of the middle tower is the Garahan Mining Headquarters. This is where the quest starts. So, I've sped this up a bit. You will see the Garahan Mining Company signs. The parking lot is to our left. Pass through this sign right here, Garahan Mining Company. Now, this ramp is where we want to go, but you can also go in through that parking structure. We go up the ramp because this board right here, Garahan Excavator Poster, will start the quest if you don't have it already from another poster. From there, turn right and we go into the structure. Now this area is very often well defended by creatures of one type or another, so just be advised that you will have to fight to get into the building and you will have to fight probably again once you get inside. Once you're inside and you've taken care of all of the interior defenders, you can make a line for this desk right here. And on this desk you will see the reception terminal. This is the first stage of the quest inside the structure. Once you have looked at all the log entries, turn left and head down to this hallway, turn right, go past this old mine cart, and then down these stairs and left through this doorway, right once more, and left past these curtains, and you see another terminal right here. This is the project manager's terminal. Once you have looked at the entries there, you will need to go to the power armor station and begin crafting your armor. Once your armor is crafted, you need to register it right here at Power Armor Scan. And once the scan is complete, the quest Minor Miracles is complete, and you will see your rewards, which include the Power Armor Crafting Stations. Now you are able to build your Excavator Power Armor, and you're able to build the Power Armor Crafting Stations back at your camp. This has been Checkers with a look at how to gain the Excavator Power Armor and Power Armor Stations. I would like to say thank you for watching. I hope you found the video informative and maybe even just a little entertaining. I would like to invite you to subscribe. Thank you kindly if you are already subscribed. I would also like to point out that if you look in the upper right hand corner, you will see a small letter I with a white circle around it. These are cards and links to other videos that I've made. Most of all, though, I would like to ask you to please, please, take care.